Hey, hey, everybody. Welcome in the kitchen with Tally Faye. I hope everybody's having them a good day today. It's a beautiful, blessed day here in Iola, Texas. I'm always happy when Buzz is out there mowing and he's mowing, y'all. Woo! I can smell the grass, y'all. Oh, like I say, one of these days I'm going to search me down that candle. And after y'all all told me where to look and everything, they do make uh, cut grass or fresh grass or whatever smelling candles. But, uh... Anyway, it's a great day. I got a lot going on, as usual. Uh, I'm feeling good, doing better every day. And I'm getting in here, y'all. We have the, it's the annual fish fry for the community center in Iowa. And so I always try to, they'll holler at me or whatever, you know, if they, I get a chance or whatever, and make a cake or something to go with the uh, food and stuff all up there with the fish fry. So uh, I got in here. Y'all know how I've been wanting to do the, uh, I try to do a uh, poke cake every so often. Well, the one I'm going to do, I've already made before back a while ago. It's been a long time ago. But uh, I wanted to make one that somebody on here shot me the ingredients for. And I'm going to make it. I wanted to make it be this next one, but I didn't have the ingredients here. I'm going to have to go get the stuff for that one. It just so happened. I got the ingredients for this one, and it's delicious, y'all. And it's that cherry almond poke cake and that thing is good y'all okay and i think you know that'll be refreshing with a you think about a fish fry plate all the fried stuff and all that goes on a fish fry plate right and then you get a piece of this cold cherry almond i think that'll be good you know to polish it off anyway that's what tally Faye's gonna do is, uh for the community center cake i'm gonna make them a cherry almond poke cake and i figured i'd put that on here and show y'all again how we make this one it's a good one, it's an easy one, and most of the time you got everything in there. The only thing I'm gonna come up short on y'all is my sliced almonds, because I used the other part of them. That was only a sprinkle though, I needed more. Uh, I used them on my uh, almond poppy seed lemon loaf yesterday. But anyway, I'm gonna use these. I got me some other nuts over here I might put on the top and I might not. We'll see. We just gonna make this thing though, y'all. I want you to see what I've done. And as we all know, the very first thing you do with a poke cake is get you a cake mix and you make a cake. So I had a white cake mix in there. And you know, I told y'all before that I saved my cherry juice and my pineapple juice and all that and I put it in a cup together in the refrigerator. I used that for my liquid in this, in this cake. Like I say, it's a white cake mix, but that tells you where that color's coming from, okay? Got it baked, just like the directions say. Um, poke my holes in it. And now the next thing we're gonna do is I have me one cup of this maraschino cherry juice. Y'all, one cup of it. Got my holes all poked in there. Make sure you pour it in the holes. You want it to go down in the holes for sure, okay? And let it soak up down in them holes before you go anywhere else on it. Fill them holes up. That, and that makes it pretty when it slices too, right? Okay. Go along here, get it all on there like that. I got it all in them holes now. Make sure. All right, there's just a cup of maraschino cherry juice right on top of the cake. Done. Okay, now I'm gonna move this out of the way for a minute. Let that sit there and soak that up. And we're gonna take, I've got in my bowl here, two blocks, two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese. Okay, I got two blocks of cream cheese and I have me a half a cup of powdered sugar, y'all. Good old powdered sugar now, not granulated, powdered sugar, half a cup. Gonna take that. <laughs> and put it in there. If it'll go. It didn't want to go, did it? Okay, there's our powdered sugar, half a cup. Let's go ahead and beat this a little bit. I'm gonna beat it up and get it creamy. Okay, we got it creamy enough for now. The next thing I have, y'all, is I got me two tablespoons of whole milk in this little bowl. I'm gonna put that in there. 
And I'm gonna go ahead, I've got my almond extract. Y'all, I ain't never used almond extract two days in a row. That's funny that it turned out like that. I need me a teaspoon of this almond extract in here. This is for our um, first layer on the cake. This cream cheese layer is. Okay, there we go. One teaspoon of almond extract. Got it. Now, this milk's just going to help it cream up a little bit easier. Make it more spreadable. Got that. Now, let's get our cake back over here. I wish y'all could smell that. Do y'all know what that almond extract smells like? Mm-hmm. It smells wonderful. Okay. Our cake has soaked up the cherry goodness there. Now, our first layer. Did I get my... I guess I didn't. Our first layer on here on the top is it going to be this cream cheese, almond, goodie on there. So, let me see. I'm going to take it and do this, y'all. That cake is so tender, it's probably going to kind of pull some of it up. when you After you pour that juice on it, you know, it kind of makes it really tender and We'll pull up some, but we ain't worried about it. We gotta put another layer on here, so. This part don't have to be real pretty. Thank goodness y'all know that ain't my forte, right? That's not the tally fay forte. All right, let's get this spread out on here. This right here is the cat's meow on this cake. This part right here, y'all, no doubt. I mean, it takes all of it to make it come together, but this, without this, it wouldn't be right. It wouldn't be the, the almond thing, that's for sure. But this cream cheese has just got to be part of it to make all the sweetness balance out, right? Because that's only got half a cup of that powdered sugar in it. That's not too bad. Not with two blocks of cream cheese, right? You got 16 ounces of cream cheese in there and only half a cup of powdered sugar. So see, that's, you know, not too bad. Okay, I think I got it pretty well even on there as I can. Now, out of the way again. Took my little pad with me. Now, we are fixing to need um, half a cup of chopped of our chopped cherries. So when I got that juice out of there, I just dumped me some cherries in here, y'all, cause I'm gonna need a half a cup to stir into our next layer, but I want me some to sprinkle on top too. So I just dumped me some in there. So let's see what I get when I chop these up. You wanna chop them up. You don't want them just to go to, to pieces. I don't know how to say that. It's pureed looking like, right? But you want them good and chopped. So that's why you want to do them in something like this. I don't know. You can chop them with a knife. But this will do them awful pretty for you. Let's see. Yeah. Look at that. See there? Okay. Let's see what I got out of that. Woo, they smell good. Okay. Set that down. What did I do with my powdered sugar measure that it didn't want? Oh, there it is. All right, I need me half a cup of chopped maraschino cherries. Okay. Let's see what I got out of here. Wow. 
Well, actually, isn't that crazy? That turned out to be half a cup. <laughs> hey, when you're good, you're good, right? <laughs> Y'all know I'm talking out of my head. Oh, goodness, look at there. Exactly half a cup. Oh, I want me some more. I'm going to go ahead right now while I got it out and get me these. I'm just going to put them in there, y'all. Right? I'm just going to put them in there. Let's chop them up. Okay. They're going to be ready to go on the top. But we can put that out of the way for now. All right, now I need me a bowl to beat up, stir up my uh, next layer, which is you need an eight ounce tub. Oh. <laughs> There's my tally fay fumble, y'all. Oh, that was a good one. Okay, you need you an eight ounce tub of whipped topping. Now, I don't know if I want this whole thing. I'm kind of weird about whipped topping, y'all, but the recipe calls for an eight ounce tub of it. So that's up to you. I don't know. I just don't know if I want all that. I'm not. I, I'm not. I got about three quarters of that tub. And it's just cause I'm that way, not because it's the right way. I just don't want all that on there. That's all I can say. So we got our whip topping and um, let's see, we got our whip topping. I just went blank. Oh, I know what was throwing me. Okay, we got our whip topping and our half a cup of cherries, okay? Now, at this point, see, this is where I kind of got a sort of, this is where you work with what you got, right? But at this point, you're supposed to put one quarter of a cup of these sliced almonds in here, right? I'm going to save these, whatever I have, for the top. So what I'm going to do is just take, Take this and stir up my whipped topping and my cherries, okay? I'm just gonna have to do it that way. It's gonna be minus a few little sliced almond bites. That's all there is to it. But, and this turns a real pretty pink color. You can't never see that in this old yellow light in here. But I've got that stirred up. That's all we gotta do with that. I'm gonna take it put it on here just let me make sure I got it stirred up good okay yeah see I just this is enough for me I it's enough for me I just think you can just go overboard with, with the cool whip stuff or the whip topping uh, it just overrides everything when you get so much of it on there and I'll tell you what my son and bus they ain't crazy about a whole bunch of it on there now, if I got the homemade whip topping, that's a different story. But this store-bought one that you buy, which I have bowls of it in my freezer for these recipes, y'all. Absolutely. Now, it looks pretty on there. It really does. So, this is nothing but Cool Whip, whip topping. This is nothing but whip topping and cherries chopped up. Stir it up together in here. But like I say, if you've got your almonds, you want a quarter of a cup of them stirred up in here. Sliced. Sliced almonds. Not slivered. Not whole. Sliced. Sliced almonds. Okay? You want a quarter of a cup in this layer, if you can. And they are good in it, y'all. Okay, look. I'm going to take it. I'm going to pat it around, kind of make it messy pretty right okay now what i'm gonna do because of my shortage of almonds i'm gonna take my little bit of cherries that i had left and let me sprinkle them all around on top of it see i think it's gonna give it a cuteness 
an appeal to it, right? It'll have an appeal. Just put them all over it. Just try to spread them out. And that's what I'm going to have to do with the almond slices, y'all. But I think it's going to make it look pretty. We'll have this thing in the refrigerator and ready to take that to the community center after a while. And hopefully they'll have a good turnout for their fish fry. Y'all, them community centers are important in these little old towns, ain't they? Any of y'all that live in them little old towns know exactly what I'm talking about. They are important. They, they serve so much purpose in a small town. They're an important part of the township. And you got people that volunteer for it and all that and everything so much. These people are up there, you know, relentlessly. They will go and do and give of themselves. And you're always just so thankful for that. Look at there. It's looking pretty, or I think it is. Y'all think it's pretty for a tally fay cake? We doing double duty here, y'all, on making the poke cake. Getting our poke cake done in for the week, even though I wanted to do the other one. This one's still worthy of doing, number one, because it's delicious. It is delicious. And number two, because it's for the community center. Okay. Let me see what I can get out of here. How I can do it. I'm going to dump them in my hand. Because i got to try to dole them out as much as I can. Let's see if I can make that work, y'all. I think it's going to. See, this is where you make it happen with what you got. you got to use what you got. Be creative and think about it. But now see if... if uh, we had the right amount of these slivered almonds, I mean sliced almonds. You would have half a cup of them, y'all. And you would have stirred in one quarter of a cup in this whipped topping uh, layer. And then you would have sprinkled the other quarter cup on top like I'm doing. But I believe it's going to work. I was a little worried about it. See there, don't be scared. That is why you don't be scared. It always works out. Give it to the good Lord and let it happen. Looky there. That is pretty. One of the prettier Taylor Faith cakes. I swanny. All right. Here we go. Let me wash this off my hands. Isn't it funny how it's always hard to give away one of these cakes? Or donate or whatever you want to call it. Once you make one up and it turns out looking like all that, y'all. Look at that. Looking like all that and knowing just absolutely knowing that this thing is delicious. It is delicious. It is a cherry almond poke cake. So, I hope y'all wrote it down. It's easy peasy. It's easy peasy. One of my... Oh, my old fingers crack open because I do so much in the dishwater and soap and stuff. Woo! Anyway, I love y'all. Y'all make this... Uh, I'll go up there maybe, maybe when I go up there and everything, I'll do some videoing inside there. I don't know. Y'all know how I, I may or may not do that. I'll try to do that. Okay? But we got us a cherry almond poke cake for the community center fish fry in Iola, Texas. <laughs>